Will eCQMs or MIPS CQMs be sunset someday and leave us with only one choice? Great question. And another one completely unpredictable. I think it would be hazardous today to try to predict if, if either of them is going to still be here 10 years from now. Uh, and it's hazardous to choose a submission mechanism based on what you think is going to be required in the future. Now, no matter what CMS labels the submission mechanism required at some hypothetical future date, I don't think we can predict today what that mechanism will look like. We know that the whole system is going to continually be subject to the annual cycle of rulemaking. Changes in the rules will continually be driven by changes. They'll be driven by the observed deficit that's in the system and the desired changes that Medicare has. All CQMs are going to evolve. Some of that evolution may be convergent, making MIPS, Medicare, eCQMs more like each other. Some may be divergent, making them look different. I still recommend, recommend most strongly choosing the mechanism that will work best for you to, today and deliver the best scoring for you today. Change as required by annual changes in the rules, and no matter what you choose, you can count on the rules requiring changes year to year. Now, it still makes most sense to me to recommend generically going with a registry route with MIPS CQMs and or Medicare CQMs rather than eCQMs. Registry, whether, whether, it's the, whether it's for MIPS CQMs or Medicare CQMs, gives you all the data options that eCQMs gives you. That is, we can use HL7 data, we can use QRDA1s, can't use QRDA3s. They, we can do everything with your data that eCQMs, but without limiting you to those options. With registry reporting of MIPS CQMs or Medicare CQMs, you can improve your scoring today. Uh, you can manually override some of your scores by abstracting the charts uh, that, that look like they're not meeting performance and giving a correct answer uh, in, in another fashion. Uh, you can adjust, uh, look at other fields other than those that are that are uh, routinely looked at by the eCQMs. So we can accommodate the broad, broadest possible candidacy um, uh, for, for measurement. Uh, and it also opens the broadest candidacy of practices for no matter what EHR they use. They don't have to blend well into your technical infrastructure. Uh, they don't have to fit that eCQM uh, mold, which is inflexible. So with a, a registry a choice of Medicare or, Med, or MIPS CQMs, you can maintain all your skills that, you're, that are required for reporting, uh, and use those the best, me best methods, uh, and still keep your options open for the future to, to move whatever way Medicare, evolving Medicare rules drive you.